today has been a day <laughs> it has been quite the day and i'll get into why but i just want to preface the video with the purpose of it which is why does bad shit happen when things are going good <laughs> i mean i guess it's a title so you already know that but i want to talk about not letting shit get to you when it feels like the universe is out to get you and i also want to talk about the importance of like rewiring your thought process into what is this teaching me rather than like why me or why did this happen to me or why is this happening to me you know so i'm gonna talk about what happened because that's what inspired this video i left the house today for some fucking mexican peppers okay some some mexican peppers why because i'm making tacos tonight <laughs> And, you know, I like to go to Kensington Market because if I go to Mercado Latino, which is, like, low-key in the hood, I pay, like, $30 for some peppers. If I go to Kensington Market, I pay $3.26. So it's walking distance for me. I live downtown, so I was like, oh, I'm going to walk today. So I put my earmuffs on, you know, I put my jacket on, I go downstairs, and I am going to walk to Kensington to go buy some $3.26 peppers. So I go downstairs and oh, I forgot my gloves. My car is right there. The doors to my condo are right there. I'm like, do I really feel like going back in the elevator and getting my gloves? Or should I just drive? It's eight, it's negative eight degrees. Let me just get in my car. I have a car. So I'm like, let me just get in my car and drive. So I get in my car to drive to Kensington, even though my plan was to walk. <laughs> and I sit there and I take some selfies. You know, looking cute or whatever. These are the selfies. Cute, you know. I was parked still. I was parked. My car was warming up. Put my phone down. Put my signal on. Check my blind spot. Apparently I didn't do a very good job of that because all of a sudden, I'm driving and I hear a boom. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. I just hit a car. <sighs> it was one of those where you're just like, bro, like, if I had done one thing differently, this wouldn't happen. If I had just brought my gloves, this wouldn't happen. I would have been walking. I would have been on Ossington by now. If I had just, I don't know, taken one more selfie, it wouldn't happen. It's so weird how life builds these moments up. And you, it, it, like, to me, it's impossible to just think that things don't happen for a reason. Because I was like, there's so many different situations that could have occurred here and they didn't. And this happened. Anyway, so these peppers ended up costing me $1,200, so that's fucking fantastic. Um, I get out of the car and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> no! It's a guy, you know, maybe like, I think he was born like 88, um, so like 32 or something, I don't know, I suck at math. Um, French guy from Quebec, he's like, I think African or something, I don't know, I don't know. But um, he had like a French-African accent. Um, anyway, so I'm just like, listen. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I totally missed my blind spot somehow, even though I checked it, whatever. He was he was easy going about it. He's like, do you have time to go to the mechanic right now? So I'm like, okay. Long story short, we go to the mechanic. First mechanic says $3,000. Second mechanic says $1,200. So we go with the second mechanic, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so the rest of the accident, it's just, it's a boring story. So we're not going to go there. We're going to get into, why the fuck did this happen? Things have been great, you know? I made some extra money out of nowhere. I got a random GST check. You know, I got COVID, so I got paid by the government. I was making some, like, extra change, you know? I worked, I have a part-time job, so I was making some more money. You know, things were good, I was making more money. I woke up to go get the pepper so I could marinate the meat and then have a full work day at my computer. I was so excited to just sit down on my computer and have a full work day and stay in and not put makeup on, not do nothing. I was supposed to be home in 20 minutes. But that happened, so then I dealt with that the whole day. It's literally now um, 6.35 and that was at noon and I just got home two minutes ago. I dealt with that the whole day. I called my mom and called my dad, whatever, whatever. Both of them said the same thing, like usually when things like this happen, you just have to trust that God is protecting you from something worse, you know? Like what if I got in the car and I was crossing the street and the car hit me and I died, you know? What if something else would have happened? I, I don't know what was meant to happen today but it's not up to me to figure it out. It's just up to me to be like, thanks universe, thanks God, rather than like, oh, you know, the perspective of why do things always happen to me? Why, why am I prone to this? And why you, I'm having a good day? And the, 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 the. that's how I used to be. I used to be 
angry. Oh my god, my camera's dying. I used to be really angry and uh, woe is me, the universe is out to get me and I really flipped my mentality to things are happening for me, not to me. And there is a greater good here somewhere. I don't know what it is. I know that I've been low vibrational lately. I've been kind of sad and I don't have a reason. And today I felt like I was having a decent day, but I was sad and I felt like I was carrying negative energy with me. And I don't know, it's like something about this kind of gave me this perspective of like, it's so easy to just choose to like be in a good mood. When you really, really think about it, we have the power to choose to be in a good mood. And I don't always do that. And when I don't, sometimes bad things kind of like fall in my lap and I don't even mean to manifest it, but I just think it's like the energy that I'm at. So I feel like that might've been the lesson of this. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to get into like my beliefs and like based off of what I've read on why bad things happen when good things are kind of happening in your life. Like, yeah, maybe I was sad, but things have been good. I felt secure, I felt like stable. I have the apartment of my dreams. I have a car, I have good friends, you know, like the people that are not in my life anymore are not for a reason and that makes me happy to know. So it's like, I've been feeling good, it's a new year, you know, like, and then something bad like this happens and like $1,200 just out of nowhere, which sucks. And I, I've noticed that pattern in my life where it's like when I feel good and stable, I'm like, woo, you know, I'm untouchable. Next thing you know, like the universe slaps some shit at me and I'm just like, really? Like now? And that would make me fold, you know? I'd be like, fuck this, like, and I'd be miserable and I, woe is me. And, and that never did anything for me. It's like, it's like the universe is like testing you. It's, it's putting you in a corner to see Will you adapt? Will you go back to your old habits and fold? Or will you see this as a lesson and allow it to make you stronger, change your course of action and rewire your thinking? You know, I just, I truly feel like the universe, it, it, it's not even like, I don't even know, I'm kind of rambly, but like sometimes I feel like it's like the devil working too, you know? Whatever your beliefs are, I believe in God and the devil. So sometimes I'm like, is the devil trying to pull me back? It's like, ooh, you know, like, things aren't good why don't you fall into a lower vibrational energy and you make the choice on what you want to do i really feel like it's the universe testing you god testing you the devil testing you i don't know if i sound crazy i don't really care but i just feel like it's up to us to make the right choices for ourselves and not let shit like this get to us because yeah i could sit here woe is me what is that going to do for me if I get mad all day about this and I cry, 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 I cried for 30 seconds to a minute. I won't lie to you, but I got over it. If I cry, 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 you know, what's gonna change? I still gotta pay $1,200, but now I'm mad. Like, there's no point. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna pretend I'm like, woohoo, like I'm not happy about it. But at the end of the day, I played my favorite song, I bought myself a coffee, and I'm gonna make some tacos. I'm sorry, my camera died and I'm kinda like, already talking and if i stop and charge it and come back like this is fresh on my mind i just have to talk so i'm sorry that the quality has lowered but i probably look better because something on my phone camera makes me look real good i don't know what it is except when other people use it to take photos of me anyway so yeah i just felt like it was up to me to not let it get to me because i just feel like if the universe is testing me and i truly believe that why am i going to fail the test why am i going to sit and cry and be miserable and call every friend up and be like <laughs> do i want to spend twelve hundred dollars no like that's not something like i'm not rich you know i'm not yet just wait it's not easy for me to just be like take my money unexpectedly when i did not expect to be spending this much money after the holiday season like it sucks but it is what it is like me moping around is not gonna do anything so I just feel like, yeah, the universe, when we are about to enter a newer and greater stage of our life, the universe wants to make sure we're prepared for it. And it throws shit our way to see how we will react. I believe the universe and God are one and the same. And I believe that when you are being tested like this like i said it's kind of the universe and god but it's also like the devil it's like the devil's pulling you in and the universe is like you're strong you can do this it, it, it's trying to see how you will react and when you slip into that lower vibrational energy and you you know you feel like shit about it and you're like why me like 
the universe is probably like she's not ready for what's about to come she's not ready for the greatness yet and i hope you're not taking that the wrong way i just mean like maybe you're not ready maybe if you still are allowing yourself to be mad at the world for the bad shit that happens to you like maybe you're not ready for the greatness that is to come into your life yet maybe you need a couple more years or months of healing um and evolving in order to reach like an elevated state of being so that you can handle what life throws at you whether it's good or bad because i find that like more money more problems you know the more the better things that happen in your life the bigger the problems are so yeah maybe a lot of abundance is on its way to me but that could also mean bigger problems am i ready for that the universe is asking me and it throws this shit my way and i'm fucking ready okay i'm ready this was an unexpected video but i just feel like it just needed to be said i don't know why like i was just like in my car and i was like i need to talk about this i haven't even told anybody that i got into an accident except for my mom and dad because like they're the best um because i just don't want to go off on a rant and give out negative energy and be like oh my god the, 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 like there's no point i'm i'm just what's gonna change my fucking headlight is still messed up the guy's car is still messed up oh yeah it's 1200 dollars before my repairs i haven't even gotten an estimate on that yet because i just want to pay the man and just move on with life <laughs> fun the point of this video what i want you to take from this is when you feel like life is good but suddenly bad things happen and you feel like that's a pattern ask yourself why is this a pattern how do i react when shit doesn't go my way and if you react in a negative way try your hardest to not next time start reacting in a positive way and see if it if it keeps happening you know i have reacted negatively a lot in the past um but I found that when bad things happen, it usually prepares me for a lot of good. Usually good follows that. And I'm, you know, I'm holding out on that. I'm, I, I believe that. And I'm not going to sit and bitch about this. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to pay what I need to pay. I'm going to make my tacos with my $1,200 peppers that I keep holding up. I clearly have a slight resentment to these peppers. I don't know, man. Just, just try not to let shit get you down. It's, it's not worth it it's not it's it's never worth it have your moment feel your emotions and let the emotions pass don't sit with them i'm not saying don't react we're human beings you know we're gonna get mad we're gonna get sad we're gonna get frustrated we're gonna get annoyed allow yourself to feel the feelings you know don't internalize them but don't don't let them control you i told you i sat in my car and i cried for about a minute Maybe you need five minutes and that's okay. But then after those five minutes of crying or those 10 minutes of crying, you fucking pick yourself up and you do what you gotta do. And you have an optimistic view on life. What I was telling myself and what my parents were telling me, I was like, like I said in the beginning of the video, something worse could have happened. My car could be worse. I could be hurt. I'm not hurt. I'm not even traumatized. It was like the smallest accident. I was driving after I was perfectly fine, you know? A lot of things could have happened and okay i fucked up someone's car you know so i don't know just try and flip your perspective when you can i understand you know it's not always easy and i get that but try your hardest try your hardest and i will too i will too just know that when the universe throws shit like this your way a lot of the times it is testing you so pass that test and make room for the abundance that is about to enter your life because it's going to be so good and when you go through hardships like this, it just, it, it feels so much better when you have it, when it's yours, you know? Like, it's like if you buy a tomato from the grocery store. Mm, yeah, it's good, it's juicy, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. But when you grow a tomato, it tastes so much better because you had to water that thing. You had to put it in the right sunlight. You had to take care of it. You had to nurture it. You had to watch it grow. You had to be there for the whole journey. So that tomato is juicy and ripe and delicious and sweet and whatever you want it to be and it tastes so much better because you did that you know and especially if let's say you tried to grow tomatoes two summers in a row and like worms got to it and it fucked it up and you were so mad but that third year those tomatoes grew those tomatoes are going to be the best tomatoes you ever had in your life you're going to be giving them to all your neighbors try my tomatoes try my tomatoes. you're going to be so proud of it is that a good metaphor 
what I'm trying to say is when you go through a struggle, when you have a journey to get somewhere and you get to that final destination, it feels so much better when you worked hard for it as opposed to just like having shit handed to you. So all these hardships will mean something one day. They're building your character. They're building you up for the greatness. So allow that to happen. Go with the emotions. Of, go with the emotions of it. Deal with shit as it comes to you. Don't fold. Adapt. That is my advice. I am going to go make my tacos. And I will insert a clip at the end of this video of me enjoying the tacos. And it will be very random. But just so you can see that at the end of the day, I get to eat tacos. And um, I guess that's it. I don't, I don't really know what else I was going to say. Yeah, just... <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I love you guys. And uh, I don't know. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're not, welcome back. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.